Hi guys, this is Peter with Carries.net. This is one of six of a series of videos reviewing browsers for the Android system. In front of you, you're seeing a Galaxy S running 2.1. And in this video, we are going to review the Dolphin Browser HD, which you see in the top right. So let's jump in. As soon as you open it, you're going to notice that I'm already on a page. This is just for demonstration purposes. When you first install the browser, you're going to be at Dolphin's home page, which gives you a default Google search bar, and then it's going to have all this regular stuff on top like the tabs. So let's take a look at this. At the top, you're going to see there's a home button to the left of the URL, a URL bar, a quick right there to do RSS on a page, or you have your refresh. At the top, you're going to see tabs, and your tabs are scrollable, so you can kind of throw them to the right, you can throw them to the left for quick scrolling. Um, Again, it's kind of like Chrome you, or Mozilla or any of the new browsers. You can push the little plus to create a new tab. Also on the new tab, which is a really nice feature, is your recently closed tabs. Um, most people will be familiar with this on pretty much any browser nowadays. They have your recent history on the bottom and then your bookmarks. So pretty intuitive, pretty great to have on a mobile phone. Uh, let's go back to just Google.com. Okay, so. Now again, on this one, you're going to have swiping. So if you hold down and swipe to the right, you're going to see your bookmarks. Um, you're also going to see the opportunity to bookmark a page up there. You can go to your most visited. Again, back to bookmarks. Um, if you have more, this is going to be able to be scrollable down and up. My Dolphin isn't activated yet. I'm assuming it's going to be some kind of syncing between your laptop and desktop browser or at least just for you to do features on a bigger screen on your laptop or desktop. Again, it's not active yet, so let's go into Edit. This is going to bring up your bookmarks. Again, you can kind of scroll through. If you hold down on one, it gives you a couple options. Uh, as you can see here, pretty standard. What a nice one is Add Shortcut to Home, so that'll add a shortcut icon to your home screen on Android, and then you can move that around. Pretty convenient. Uh, again, something that we'll talk about in a second is creating gestures for this URL. You can share it, copy it, delete it, and then set as your home page. So let's go back to here. Now on the bottom, you have your most visited. Um, so you can see the most visited web pages. At the top right, if you just want to get back to your pages, you can click that little back button. Uh, going on, we have themes. Right now, I believe there's only blue, orange, and purple, with the default being green. Again, when you go back to the home screen, I'll show you kind of which parts change. As you can see on the bottom, those icons are blue, and that's pretty much what the themes do. They just change certain colors throughout the browser. One more tab is going to bring you to add-ons. Now, this is a cool feature that isn't available on a lot of browsers yet, but I know a lot of them are catching up to this. But essentially, you install add-ons. At the moment, Dolphin has the most on the market that I saw. Uh, I installed YouTube and Wikipedia to just show you guys an example. And then the bookmarks to SD is really convenient just because if you switch phones, your phone dies. Uh, you can just reload Dolphin off of another phone with your same micro SD card and it goes from there. You can also get more add-ons at the top. I believe that opens it up in a new browser page, but I would recommend just going to the market and searching for Dolphin HD. To get this browser, I would also recommend going to the market and searching Dolphin Browser HD, only because if you search Dolphin or Dolphin HD, the actual browser is like the 30th uh, icon selection in the list down. So you have to scroll a ways to get to it. So again, search Dolphin Browser HD in the market to get that. Now, back to your home screen, if you hold and swipe to the left, you're going to see those widgets that I was talking about earlier for YouTube and Wikipedia. You're also going to see a quick link to your add-ons on the bottom right. So let's try Wikipedia. Um, with Wikipedia, it's really nice. You get a select text button, a paste button, a help, and then a search. So for the select text, you just click that. You highlight text on the page, as you can see there. You let go. You copy it to the clipboard. So you just go back to Wikipedia and you paste. Uh, hopefully in the next update with the select text feature, instead of just copying it to the clipboard, it will bring you right back to this box and already have it inserted in the search. That would be nice, um, but again, maybe it's there so that in case you select too much, you select too little, you can go and type instead of auto searching. So again, clicking that um, gives you a couple more options. Open in a new tab, open in your current tab, and always show. So let's just go back to here for now. 
Um, again, as you can see on the top, you can scroll through here. You just click on tabs. Each tab has their own little X, just like Firefox, IE, all the main browsers, Chrome, Safari. Still scrolling through, you can see that you have different mobile pages. Now these are all the mobile versions of these pages, but you can change the user agent in Dolphin HD, which I'll get to in a second, which is actually very convenient when viewing certain web pages because you have a couple options. But let's go to a full desktop page. As you can see, oh, we have we have flash kind of ads on the right um, that are going. Again, your you can do pinch zooming. Why? Let's come on. Okay, maybe this is going to be difficult for us. Let's click on a new link, see what it does. Uh, it does have pinch zooming for some reason. It's being difficult right now. Uh, normally it doesn't do this, so don't take that as a face value. That's going to happen every time. Let's just rotate this real fast. Um, and again, the Wi-Fi connection is slow here, so don't hold that against me. Come on. Okay, well, I will show that at the end instead. Okay, next you have your gesture search. Now again, I just clicked, I'll show you again, that little hand that's pointing, you click on that. It brings you up to your gesture search, which most advanced Firefox people will know, or anyone who's installed that plugin that knows about it. So I've done a lowercase n for a new tab, and as you see, it says new tab, opens one up. Um, so we can get out of that. There we go, there's the pinch zooming. Okay, I don't know what was wrong with that earlier, but here we go, you can scroll all the way in. Again, with most browsers, you can double tap, and it'll scroll in until the text is legible. Scroll out again, okay. So, going back to that gesture search, um, in the bottom right, you'll notice a little gear, a pretty universal setting symbol, let's click on that. Okay, so this will bring up your gesture options. Now, you can change where the gesture is by clicking here, so you can have it hide, It'll be on the left or be on the right. Let's go back. Now, down here, you can create a gesture. You can add a bookmark, back, forward. Um, again, these are all preloaded, and you can also click to edit. So let's say it's right here. So this is a Facebook gesture. Let's edit it. Let's do this, okay, so we draw a lowercase f, done, as you can see it updates it right there in the picture, now let's go back, it takes you right back to the gesture screen, let's draw our lowercase f, and there we go, loading facebook.com, really easy, really great feature to have on this guy, so let's get into the settings because this is getting kind of long, you click on your menu button, as you can see it has stop, forward, exit, bookmarks, toolbar, and more, Toolbar is going to be when you hard swipe to the left. Your bookmarks is going to be when you hard swipe to the right. If you'd like to turn off those swipings, you can do that in the settings so that you can just go to these buttons instead if you don't like that. Also notice that the stop changed to refresh as soon as the page loaded, or as you can see, as soon as the page didn't load. Um, okay, so let's go to more. Again, same stuff that we saw in the other browsers of pretty much standard features in that. So let's go to our settings. Now our dolphin settings, again, you're going to have your management. What's nice here is you can use your volume button to scroll. Again, here's that enabling swipe action that I talked about before. You can have a pinch to zoom button. So this option right here, use SD card with storage, you are going to have to install that add-on to be able to use that. So keep that in mind. Dolphin also offers a private browsing um, option. You can keep your screen on so it never times out. Here is the user agent that I was talking about. You have a choice of Android, desktop, or iPhone. Um, kind of really nice. Uh, if you're wondering why you would need iPhone, sometimes there's special giveaways or special downloads, but only for iPhone. So you can set your user agent to iPhone, go to those pages, and get those downloads as well, even if you don't have one. So uh, the next ones are all pretty, again, standard. Check to make sure it is a default browser. Make it your default browser. Clear your clap cache, clear your history. Again, Dolphin HD is compatible with HTML5, and system settings is the same stuff you'll find with other um, browsers, pretty standard, your page content, uh, your privacy, let's see, your security, and your advanced. So reset the default, again, pretty standard stuff. 
One cool thing about uh, Dolphin is if you hold down the back button, you get these options to exit out of Dolphin browser. Again, clear cache, clear history, minimize, exit, and cancel. Um, so you can turn those off if you just want to always come to a fresh start page when you start it. I usually do, so I just click exit. You can also minimize. I would assume that it uses less um, background processing, but again, I haven't tested that with a piece of software to make sure. Um, it's running slow right now. Uh, we'll get into it later because I downloaded Fennec, which is Mozilla's new alpha browser, as you can see right there, and it's taking up some memory. So. I uh, hope you enjoyed. Again, uh, read the full article for which browser you should be looking at based on your lifestyle, based on your needs from browsing. This is Peter with Carace.net. If you have any more questions, we have live help on Carace.net, 10 a.m. to 7 p.m., Monday through Friday. We're also on Twitter as Carace, and if you're watching this on YouTube, this is our account, so shoot us a question if you have one. And leave a comment if I got something wrong or if you think there should be an update that I should do to the video. Thanks for watching and make sure to tune in to the other four videos, or other five videos, excuse me, we'll, we'll be reviewing the stock browser, Opera Mini, Layer, Skyfire, and Fennec. Thanks.